Hi, welcome back. On this video, we are going to be learning how to make our functions even way better than the last video. On the last video, we were passing parameters into the functions and we were, you know, displaying some good information now. But we want to do more than echoing stuff out of the function, more than printing stuff out of the function. Let me just show you on the last video here, on the last lecture, we talked about, let me show you defining functions. Let me just we call the passing parameters, right? So we have functions here that when we pass a parameter, a text, string, we display something out of the function. Well, this is really nice, you know, because we can use the function uh, to pass parameters. But what if I don't want to just echo the message? What if, what if I want to just add it to something else? What if I want to use that message with another function? I can't do it with this function because all this function is doing is printing out the message on the screen. That's all he's doing. I, we can't do anything with this. We can't do anything with what how the function works out inside unless we come physically here manually and change it. I want to be able to grab the value out of whatever is inside this function and then take it outside and do whatever I want with it. This is how you make functions really, really, really useful and flexible and portable and extend, extendable. Really nice. So let's learn how to do that. Let's learn how to take values outside the function and then we can do other things with it. So just in case we want to echo it later on, we can outside the function. We don't have to just rely on this echo from inside the function because this is not very flexible. All right, as flexible as what we are going to be doing. So let's grab the blank.php and let's do a save as. And let's call this returning values return no actually return values and then functions we're not gonna make it bigger than that already is long enough dot php all right so we're gonna open let me just close this a little bit so that way it doesn't get in the way we're gonna open our php tags and the, then close and bring it down all right so we already know how to, how, how to define a function, then we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to call this function, I'm going to do the same function we did on the last video, all right, when we pass some parameters, and I believe it was called at numbers. If it's not, then disregard that, don't worry, we will make a new one here, but it should be the same. So this function here is going to do the same thing as the other one, but it's going to be a lot more flexible, I'm going to show you. So we know that we can call this function, whatever's inside, by calling the function name right here. And then what we did in the last video is we passed it some parameters. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to say number one and number two. All right. And we're going to pass it some parameters here and the function is going to add some stuff out for us. Right. So we're going to have another variable here that's going to hold that sum of these two numbers added together. So one and plus number two. Perfect, right? Now I said that I didn't want to use the echo now. again. I don't want to just call this function, just echo this out on the screen. I want to be able to decide what I want to do with the data once I have it. So how do we get this data out of here? We can't, the only way we can do it, right? is usually right is echoing it out right printing it out but there is another way of actually returning that calculation so you can do other things with it and it's called the return statement right here that you, you put a return keyword there it's a reserve keyword in PHP and you just take the data out we are gonna take the sum out of, the, of these two numbers we're gonna take it out of the function and then use it here now let's let's go ahead and open our browser there so that way we can see the errors there don't worry about that right now we have to pass some parameters and I'm just gonna pass some numbers here that's gonna go away but now we don't have anything here why why don't we have anything happening here well first of all we have no errors so that's good second of all we're not doing anything with this data we have the calculation right here on this function what do we want to do with it because right now we are returning the sum back to this function here. So what I'm going to do is I want to I want to hold this sum somewhere. So what I'm going to do is just because the sum is here and that could be a little confusing for you, right? Just because it's here, I want to save it into a variable. I'm going to call this variable result. All right? 
that's fine that should be more now this whole functionality these two numbers added up because it's already being added up here and then returned back to us the, the sum of this whatever this is all right 98 I believe right here the sum is trapped in here but right now we are assigning this calculation this this sum right here to this variable right here and we can go ahead and go like this echo result and of course it's not gonna do anything because this is a R it's a different variable and then we have a problem here and I'm going to show you right now what the problem is so it's saying right now use of undefined constant we don't have the dollar sign right here so it confused this with a constant save we have 98 as you can see here so now we can do whatever we want with this result with this 98 right now this has a, a value of 98 so look at this let's say for example that I want to do something else with this result right I want to go ahead and let me see if I can get this right <laughs> all right so what I want to do is I want to grab the same function again numbers right because this function now is a function that we can add any two values to it so I can pass it any parameters I want here and it will add it up for me so I can reuse that function and save it in the variable result again all right and I say you know what I want to add a hundred to 98 and this could be this could get very confusing right now but don't worry I'm here to help you out all right so I hope you've seen what we're doing if not don't worry I'm gonna go over it right now so result look at that we got 198 all right all right so let me explain what happened here before you get too confused all right so this function here we know that it is function we made it so it adds, it adds two numbers and it's gonna add whatever numbers we pass it through here all right with this keyword returned sum means that we are returning the calculation of whatever numbers we pass it through here so if these numbers are 98 the calculation of this the first number the second number calculated is 98 we're gonna return that calculation back here so now this is not gonna work it's not gonna be worth 64 and 38 it's gonna be worth 98 this whole thing is worth 98 now because we are returning that calculation back and then what we do with the 98 with the value 98 is we are we are saving it right here on this variable here right to do other things with it all right so what we did with this is that we came all right I reuse remember we can reuse the same variable over again and we can assign it the same value or even different values so I reuse this variable again right here to assign it to add to use the same function again to add a hundred plus the result plus 98 don't worry about what you see here you just know that this result right now all right here is worth 98 you just know that this is 98 and this is 98 because we already had this calculation right here as you can see there so remember this is from right to left we assign values from right to left in programming okay so we got 98 here and then a hundred here and then when we call this function add two numbers add numbers it's gonna go over here with the 98 that I got right here and the 100 is gonna go here the 100 is gonna go here and the 98 is gonna go here and it's gonna add it up and then it's gonna return it back to us again here so that 198 is returned back to us and then we are reusing this variable again called result which is the same as this and that right now this variable gets assigned a different value of 198 and then we are echoing that value out right here All right don't let that trip you off we are actually using the same variable and assigning it a different value so I come here and I say you know what and I'm just gonna do an echo for a break so that way you can see the difference what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna separate as a matter of fact I don't need this what am I doing let's just do a break here all right just to let you know that this result here is different from this result all right remember the variables they go from the top to bottom 
So right now, this is worth 98 right here. And I'm going to echo it out on the screen so you can see it. And then when it goes to the second one, it's worth 198. So watch this. See that? So right now, this is worth 98 there. But then I go down again and use the same function to add 100 more to it, to that 98. And we get 198. And we keep keep doing this over and over again. As a matter of fact, let's do it again one more time so you can see what I'm talking about here. And I'm just going to add 300 to it. All right. And, of course, we need the echo for this here. So that way it does not... Look at that. I can reuse it over and over again. Let that not confuse you. This this can add anything. I can add a thousand here and look at the number right here. Remember this function just adds up even if it doesn't have to add up. Even if it does add up and not the same result variable here on top. It will add it up to whatever we put it here. Alright? Just know that. So you see how flexible we can make our functions, how more, more extendable we can make it, right? Just by returning the, the sum, the calculation, returning that value out of the function, we can do many things to it, all right? And imagination is the limit to what you can do with this type of information, with this type of functionality, all right? So anyway, thank you for watching this lecture. Hopefully that gave you a really, really good idea on what you can do with functions when you are returning data to do whatever you want outside the function, all right? So anyway, hopefully you got some valuable knowledge and you're happy and you won't fall asleep just thinking about PHP today. But anyways, I'll see you in the next lecture. Take care.